Hello, I'm Dr. Dawood Syed. I'm a professor of anesthesiology and pain medicine at the University of Kansas. Today, on behalf of my co-investigators, I'm going to be presenting our abstract, an evaluation of the safety and efficacy of the streamline technique versus the standard technique for accessing decompression treatment zones for the percutaneous interlaminar lumbar decompression procedure. Our objectives were to investigate the safety and efficacy of the streamlined technique compared to the standard technique for the percutaneous image-guided lumbar decompressive procedure. In summary, the streamlined technique is a single midline incision to access multiple treat treatment zones versus the more traditional standard techniques in which multiple incisions are made to access multiple treatment zones. It was the hypothesis of the investigators that using the streamlined technique that we would be able to perform the procedure in an equal satisfactory manner with the same efficacy, but also performing the procedure in a much less invasive manner for the patient. So our methods were 243 patients with a baseline visual analog score of greater than five. These patients underwent the PILD procedure at one or two treatment levels using either the streamlined technique, which is about 136 patients, or the standard technique, which was about 107 patients. If you look at the table here, you can see that most of the patients were treated at either the L3, L4, or the L4, L5 levels. And again, the streamlined technique is a decompression performed using a single midline incision. The technique involves pulling back the portal to the subcutaneous tissue and turgering tissue to change the level or side of treatment to access and decompress multiple treatment zones through a single incision. When we look at our results, you can see the average pain level was around an eight on a BAS mean score. When you looked at the immediate um, pain relief uh, and efficacy at around two weeks, you can see that the difference between the results and efficacy between the standard technique and the streamlined technique was almost identical. When you look at these patients a little further out at one to three months, again, you can see no difference in the outcomes and pain scores as well as complication rates between the two arms when comparing the streamlined and standard technique. So in conclusion, the streamlined technique does not compromise the safety or efficacy of the PILD procedure. We look forward to evaluating this in a more prospective, rigorous manner to evaluate it as a true change in the way we uh, do this procedure. Thank you.